Hi guys, I'm Sam Davis from Website Right. It's been a long time since I've done a video, however it's been a very busy period of time for me, which can only be a good thing. Just encountered an issue here when doing a WooCommerce site for someone. And uh, it doesn't just have to be in WooCommerce, it can also be uh, people who blog and post regularly. Have you ever been to the posts page or your products page or the pages page within WordPress admin and you're really struggling to see the page titles because there are so many columns of data. You've got the title, you've got the time, you've got the tags, you've got the categories, and then if you've downloaded plugins like Yoast, you've also got inward links, outward links, analytics, red little blobs, green blobs, and it's, it's so difficult to read. There's a plugin that makes those columns easier to manage, and it's called Admin Columns. This is what it's all about. So take a look at this WooCommerce products page. It's, it's not very pretty, is it? You've got all the products in there, but it's very difficult to see the data. And I'm, I'm struggling to actually read those tags there. There are too many columns of information. So what you need to do, you need to download a plugin. So go to plugins and add new. I've already installed this already, but it's called admin columns. This is what it looks like here. It's really simple because once you download it, you just need to activate it on your website. And then when you go back to your pages of all your products, you'll see that it will have added a little cog here where you can edit the columns. So if you click that, what you can then do is choose to remove certain columns here. So I, I don't particularly need the analytics the analytics data here. You can actually relabel it should you wish to, but I'm gonna remove it. Uh, don't want the outgoing internal links, the SEO score, readability score. I'm not particularly fussed about these just yet. Meta description, key phrase, estimated shipping rule, don't need it. Tags, if I wanted to see the tags, I go onto the individual products. And I think, yeah, maybe we'll remove it from featured as well. And the SEO title, I just want the basics there, the image, the name, the code, the stock levels. Again, I'm not even using stock uh, levels with WooCommerce here, so let's take that off too. So I'm now gonna save that, and then we're gonna check out what our new products page looks like. So let's go to products and then all products. And oh my goodness, I can see what's going on straight away now. I can see all the products, names, the SKUs, the price, the categories, really easy. And should I wish to view more information about the SEO and stuff, I just need to go onto the individual product. Yeah, granted, it's a great quick at a glance way to see your SEO scores. However, you need to be able to function using your own website. So this is how to do it. I hope this really helped. If you liked it, do give me a thumbs up and I do these videos every so often so click subscribe to and hit that notification bell so you can be informed of my next update. Until next time, 